he showed us some history mm -hmm. and now we're gonna eat this history. <laughs> Seven years of bad sex, so cursing myself at the moment. And special smell. I mean, there is a problem in Valencia oh, with the sure. canalization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to make endless episodes about the food of this city. I've eaten in many places, in different countries and cities. People watch me from the United Kingdom, the United States of America, Spain, Germany, Canada and many other countries. I infinitely respect the culture and cuisine of every city and country. Amazing culinary scene. Fish, no meat. Uh, yeah. Tapas in Valencia are mostly fish. Welcome back to the Beatles channel. It's me, Ed, and it's Valentin. Yeah. Sorry for that. This is kind of hidden gem. It's not that bad that I thought it would be. Wherever I go, to explore the most delicious, unique, sometimes traditional and sometimes super modern dishes. This way, I get to know the country or a city better. But today, I'm back in Valencia. And I'll be tasting several amazing products, historically very important for this region. So no matter where you live and no matter how far from Valencia you are, you will now try these dishes with me and Valentin, a professional food guide. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Traditionally, city life in Spain, in Europe, I'd say, is being arranged around markets. We're going to try some tapas here. Yeah, let's go. Making it here. Hola, Beatles. Welcome back to the Beatles channel. I hope you're having a good day. It's me, Ed, and it's Valentin. This is our first place. What is it? Where are we? For me, this is the real old town market. So local here, people love to come here. Yeah, and it's, this is for me like a kind of hidden gem. Not everybody knows this place and the good is very good. Hidden gem and that's exactly what we need. And our first dish for today is? Yeah, titaina del cabañal. Okay. Dried tuna here, tomatoes, paprika, green peppers, pine nuts. It's all cooked together. Usually you cook it for one hour, 20 minutes, a stew. Okay. And it's been like a fisherman dish. Let's Enjoy. try it, yeah. Mm. I thought it would be cold, but it's not. No, it's, it's uh, warm. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Mm. zesty, soury because of tomatoes. I feel the tuna, the dry tuna, mm. very intense and punchy. Very dry, actually. It's not like yeah. normal tuna. Yeah, it's good. I like mm. it. Mm. I've never tried it before, guys. And, uh, you know, I eat a lot. Mm. Wow, it's good. Put on top. Mm. Tapas in Valencia are more fish oriented than okay. meat oriented. Nice texture. Mm. Pretty good start for our food tour. Subscribe to my channel, mm. hit the like button, and write some comment below. Mm. Okay. Wow. Wow, look at that. Mm. Oh, oh, wow, mm. even more. Yeah. <laughs> artichokes, it looks amazing. So we have artichokes and we have, what, what is that? This is a coca de escalivada. Okay, mm. is it like a fresh Morsi. sardine? Yeah. Oh wow, fresh sardine. This mix of vegetables, a slice of bread that is called coca. A couple of sardines. And also we have artichokes. Uh, yeah, 10% of artichokes across the world are produced in the Valencia region, so it's a very popular thing here. And yeah, there are many sizes, many ways to prepare them. You can boil them down, you can, you can grill them. Yeah, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's uh, baked in the oven. Mm -hmm. the, um, the sauce is uh, awesome. Uh, punch, punchy and intense. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Lemony, zesty flavor. I don't know what this sauce is. It's similar to ketchup, but it's not ketchup. No, mm. it's like a barbecue sauce. Yeah. Let's try yeah. our sardines, fresh sardines to share. Mm. A fresh sardine with some vegetables on top and some sauce. Mm. The bread is uh, crunchy and crispy. It's a fresh sardine on top of the very warm vegetable pillow and the warm toasted bread. It's not uh, my type of dish. I would not do it at home, for example. Mm. But, you know, it's all about the experience. It's good.
Support the Beatles channel by Super Thanks or become a member to unlock exclusive access to never before seen content and special badges to stand out in our community. Your support is crucial for me to keep creating. Join now and be part of the inner circle. Guys, and we are in the area of Valencia, which is called El Carmen, right? Barrio El Carmen or Carmen Quarter, let's say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very famous for its uh, street artists and graffiti on the doors, on the walls, like this. Hmm. Like this. Yeah. And like this and special smell. I mean, there is a problem in Valencia oh, with the sure. canalization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is our next spot, Tasca Angel. Yeah. Right? Tasca Which, what, what this uh, place is famous for? It's famous mostly for one thing, the sardines. They make these uh, small sardines, uh, but we're going to have something more, but the sardines are more, I, we're going to have something specifically Valencian, which is the eels uh, stew, alt y pebre stew. Ajuarero, right here. Mm. And it's uh, basically, it, it feels like potato puree with a bacalao, with a codfish. Yeah, that's it. It's all, it's potato, codfish, garlic, yeah. all is mashed together. It's a dog, when in English it's called a dog, so it's very yeah. intense. The right way to have this is over bread. I over bread? Okay. It's very, you'll see, it's very garlicky. Ah, garlicky. Very yeah, I love. strong. So I think it's good for days, cold days. It gives you a strength. Mm. Uh, it's cold. It's yeah. punchy. It's garlicky. Yeah. It's very smooth. Very tender. I mean. Yeah, gentle, elegant, mm -hmm. but it's cold. It's like a cold yeah, appetizer. Probably, yeah, it, it's an appetizer, yeah. In Ukraine, we are used to eat uh, the potato puree, but it's always hot, it's always warm. You like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's too cold, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Eels, chopped eels. So you cook it all together with some potatoes. This is interesting because this comes from Albufera Lake area. It's where paella comes from. It's a big lake with rice fields. Let the meat melt inside your mouth and be aware not to get down the spine. Okay, well. You take the spine out when you're done. So something that you shouldn't miss is to Deep oh, yeah. bread on oh, the yeah. stew. Don't be embarrassed. I wouldn't eat it like every day, this type of dish. Yeah, I know. But to try it, yeah. uh, it's an amazing experience. And uh, the juice, the sauce in which uh, the potato with eels are stewed, are amazing. This sauce. So take the bread and dip it, dip it down. Amazing. Yeah. I like it. And we have the third dish. Yeah, fish again, bacalao with uh, paprika and olive oil and garlic. It's all fish, no meat. Uh, yeah. Tapas in Valencia are mostly fish. Mm. This codfish is chewy. Mm. The texture, strong olive oil flavor. Mm. Maybe a little bit vinegary. Cod is prepared, which is by hand. You have to, they kind of tear apart the codfish by hand. Pulled no, pork. Pulled, pulled, pulled pork. pork. So it's a pulled bacalao. Yeah. Uh, is it all for this place? Yeah. Mm. Amazing. Let's pay and uh, we'll get uh, you to another place. Let's mm. go. It's got very old things and very new futuristic uh, things. So. Absolutely. Mm. And I love this contrast. We're in February and you can see what weather we're having. I'm wearing yeah. the t-shirt. Yeah. So I want to stop here one moment so okay. you can, you know what this is. There was originally like a bar here where people used to meet. The bat is in the city coat of arms and it's also in the football club logo. And the bat has a name. In Valencian language, it's called rat penat, okay. which means rat with wings. So we're going to have now a sandwich, a bocadillo, that is called like the bat, a rat penat bocadillo. So let's go for it. Wow, you see that? You see that trick which uh, Valentin just did? <laughs> so he showed us some history, some really interesting thing. Mm. And now we're gonna eat this history. <laughs> okay. Mm. Third place. 
place. Yeah. The last one for today, Casa Mundo. Tell me about it. Casa Mundo is nice because uh, it's uh, founded by a football player called Mundo. All photographs about the Valencia Football Club. <laughs> oh, it's a nice place. Yeah, we can see. Yeah. Oh, cozy. Yeah, Maybe yeah. let's try some uh, caracoles, okay. like well, snails. snails. It's yeah. uh, unique for Valencia. I mean, uh, very popular. Queremos uno de caracoles. We're gonna try also the horchata. It's a Valencian drink ma made with uh, tiger nuts. Yeah. Non-alcohol beer, guys. Hmm. It's already a tradition to drink non-alcohol beer in my videos. Yeah, I because uh, I always like exploring new towns, new hmm. uh, new places uh, by car. Yeah, I drive car. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. And still is beer. This is water. You know, in Spain, water is uh, bad. Life. If you toast with water, is uh, seven years of bad sex. So. Oh I'm, wow. Cursing myself at the moment. Here we have the snails. Yeah. And we have the bocadillo. And the bocadillo. Let's so talk about the snails first. Snails. Uh, I know for people from other countries, snails can be a horrible, a horrible thing to eat, disgusting, barbaric. But <laughs> very locals love it. Here. It's got the, this uh, very hot, spicy sauce. So they're nice. Yeah. And the bocadillo is called like the bat, rat penat, yeah. which is the bat is the symbol of Valencia, also the symbol of the Valencia football or soccer club. So it's got morcilla, uh, like blood sausage. Uh, let's try that. If it's, it's a legend, I mean a legendary yeah. sandwich. Uh, this yeah, place it's one. what the, this place is famous for. I have also. to. I'm, you know. Mm. You know me, guys. I, I'm ready to try everything. Uh, the snails, the blood pork, I love trying new things. That's what tours are about, about trying things. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, here I go. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's okay. I mean, I feel the onion and tomato flavor yeah. in, in that too. Nothing bad, nothing but barbaric, nothing crazy about mm. that. When you take the snail, you take everything from inside and then drink Yeah, mm. the sauce. It's very meaty and very intense flavor. They make sense in the paella. You can, if you have snails yeah, yeah. around, you can put them uh, in the paella as well, so... Mm. I filmed an amazing video about uh, true legendary paella mm. with uh, Tony Montolu. I'm in Valencia, home of one of the most famous dishes in all of Spain, paella. And if you're anything like me, you've had paella, you've heard of paella, but I mean, honestly, I still don't know what goes into paella and what makes paella paella. The culture, the tradition that surrounds the authentic paella. We are going to meet Tony, the most knowledgeable person in paella cooking. He's absolute legend here. I would even say he's a king of paella in this area. This so is you, amazing. Yeah. You, very tender, yeah. very soft. It, 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 it's not that bad that I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's good. I really suggest you guys come in here and um, try this uh, bocadilla. Yeah, it's um, all over the city and the region. You want bocadillos, you're going to find a lot because it's part of the local culture. Probably it's stronger than tapas. Yeah. We can order the coffee as well. Or as oh, prefer. okay, yeah. This is the alcohol coffee. Yeah. Uh, I will not try that, it's for you. It's for me, no? Well, because I'm drive car. I don't okay. want multas. Okay, okay. <laughs> multas is so, uh, fines, guys, in Spain. And yeah. we also have this amazing caramelized pastry. Yeah. Look at that. Look how amazing is that. This is wow. uh, Torrija de Horchata. So what is special about this is that Torrijas are common in Spain. It's usually simply plain, like uh, bread. Mm -hmm. You make torrijas, leaving the bread to degrade. Let's say it's not. It has to be maybe a one-week-old bread that is 
too tough oh, wow. to eat. It's impossible to eat anymore. Yeah, it's, it's like soaking in milk or something, or in horchata. In horchata, yeah. Usually it's done with milk, but in this case it's horchata. Wow. So, hmm. Look at that. It's uh, soaking wet. Hmm. I mean, it's crazy. Let me try hmm. that. Hmm. So very sweet. It's got a lot of uh, sugar on top. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Caramel on top. Mm. Crispy. The dough is tender. It's amazing how they uh, took the old bread, mm. uh, soak it up like in in horchata, yeah. and get this pastry. Torrijas are common in Easter. Okay. It's normal that people. When Easter is uh, coming, they leave some bread and don't use it, leave it for for it to degrade, and then they make torrijas for the what we call the Holy Week, Semana Santa, and Easter. So, yeah. Amazing. So, again, this is a Valencian thing. So, it's black coffee with a flame rum, cinnamon, and they add like two grains of coffee, so they flame everything together, so it gets this strong flavor. You don't need sugar, it's got sugar as well. So, yeah, it's the common black coffee after a smorzar, after a bocadillo. So, it's got alcohol, so Edward is not able to have it, I will have it. Salud, and enjoy. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Mm. Also, if you'd like to have a food tour here with Valentin, I strongly recommend yeah. you his service. Uh, come here in Valencia, you mm. will be amazed.